Hey, hey, this is Brian. You're watching. I am pulling out of my shop now and uh i was planning on getting started a little earlier this morning but daggone it done turn winter again but anyway i'm gonna get to a brand new job i've never done this account before and uh we're gonna basically what we're gonna do is get it prepped and ready for summertime maintenance so anyway y'all stick around i think it's gonna be a good one but before we get there, be sure and click the like button, subscribe button, click the notification bell, and leave me some comments, guys. I really enjoy reading the comments and getting feedback from my audience. So if you will, please leave me a comment. All negative comments will be deleted, so be kind. So we'll see you there. Good gracious, there's some big houses in here. And yes, I've already been in here, but I really didn't pay attention to the layout because I was looking for this address. But there's some monstrosity houses in here. Look at this. This is the place right here we're going. Right there. We're gonna get you set up and get you some footage. Stick around. And guys, the wind is howling this morning. So if if you hear wind, I apologize. But I do want to show you something. This is a new track they just cleared out. They're gonna be, I guess they're gonna be building a house. If I had been this homeowner or that homeowner, I would have bought this track of land right here so nobody could build here. That's just my honest opinion. But anyway, don't you look at the water standing on that land. That's how wet it is around here. And as cool as it is, it ain't gonna be, it isn't gonna be uh, evaporating or drying up anytime soon. So we're going I'm gonna get you set up and we're gonna get going. All right, y'all, I'm done with this one. They didn't want me to film anything in the back. I don't know why, but I didn't see anything back there, but they just said it was their private area, and, and that's fine. Um, I don't have a problem with that. But anyway, if you don't know, if, if you're not familiar with what them little balls are on the ground that come from them trees right there, those are sweet gum trees. And they draw, I bet I picked up 30 piles that I blew up and some of them they had blown up and they there's still this many on the ground i would spend all day long blowing up these balls but anyway i dropped the the mulch guard the mulch plate and mulched up as many of them as i could but uh you see the stripes in the yard you can really see them in that area right there but anyway that's it for this one on to the next one Good morning guys. 
Um, this is the next day. I had to cut my day short right after I uh, got through with that job. Anyway, we're heading to another job today. And I say we because I've got this guy with me this morning. Um, it, it, I don't know what's going on, but North Carolina is off its meds. It has done and turned wintertime again. Uh, I guess it got upset that people around here were wearing shorts in February. And it done an about face, a 180 degree turn, and it come back with a vengeance. But anyway, we're going to get to the job. We're going to get set up, and we're going to get you some footage. Y'all, my son is 18 years old. We just left the shop. Look. Watch this. <laughs> What'd you jump for? <laughs> Wake up, boy. Wake up. Time to go to work. <laughs> boys and girls we are here uh if you watched the video i posted or uh, uploaded about trimming those bushes where i had the accident and cut my finger you'll recognize this house if you didn't i don't know why you didn't but go back and watch it kind of fine tune this yard we're going to cut the grass and everything and i think there's a couple of things she wants to do in the back <clears throat> i may throw a good edge on this driveway and uh we're gonna put the smack down on it and get it ready for summer and that's from the side and say hey to clifford and leonard nate's still in the truck he's woke up though he finally woke up Now that trampoline is on the other side of the ditch, so we that on that's that's got nothing to do with us. So looks like she's put some dirt in that low spot right there. Oh, there goes the pack of dogs over there. Very vocal. Well, she got a nice lean to back here. Gas tank. But that's it. We'll show you the after. After. Stick around. Alright, y'all. We're done with this one. Uh, if you see a couple of bushes missing over here, there was an azalea bush. I'm trying to make sure my finger's in the shot right over there and then there was another one right there she wanted those cut down she said they hadn't bloomed in probably 15 years don't know why but she wanted them gone so we cut them down and here's the backyard nate run over the backyard with the craftsman and uh strike pretty good you can see them better from the woods back there but i ain't walking all the way out there that's just too far but anyway Got some pretty edges on the driveway. I cut those crepe myrtles, that one there, and that one over there, I cut the last time I was here, which was about three weeks ago. And then, This is the front yard. It stripes really nice. I can't wait for that centipede to come out full bore 
and see how it stripes. But anyway, that's it for this one, guys. We're going to get on to the next one. Hope to see you there. here that's the one we got to do I'm out of the truck now. I gotta cut those two crepe myrtles right there and then there's one in the back I've gotta cut and then we just pretty much gotta clean it up and uh, blow everything off and I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw an edge on the driveway. But I'm gonna do it with the string trimmer this time instead of having to put the edger on. So anyway, we're gonna get to it. We'll be back shortly. All right guys, we are done with this one. Got the pine cones picked up. Got the sticks picked up. Look at that pretty edge. Nice and clean and crisp. And got them crepe myrtles cut for. Got that crepe myrtle there cut. I'll walk you around back. Nate did the back. The pollen was so sort of stuck to her car, so we we uh, we rinsed the pollen off. Tried to rinse it off this, it's just stuck so bad it wouldn't come off. And here's the backyard. There used to be a dogwood tree that stood right there and she had it cut down. Matter of fact, there's the wood to it right there. But anyway, Nate did this back here. Did a good job. Right proud of the boy. Yard looks really nice. And we'll walk you around the other side so we can see the stripes in the yard. I'll be back around front. I did the front with the Craftsman. And it's still... Looks really good. You can really see the stripes down through there. It looks really nice and really pretty. I'm going to be pressure washing this driveway. I was supposed to do it today, but it is so dad gum cold. I, I just, you know, I told her, I said, can we please wait? Or I asked her, can we please wait till it warms up a little? She said that was fine. So anyway, that's it. I'm heading back to the truck. All right, I'm back in the truck. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I'm, I'm doing this new format just to see what kind of response I get. Um, a guy I follow on um, YouTube, he does kind of the same thing, and uh, I kind of like it. Uh, there's, there will be times that I do more video with more action shots but right now there's not really a, a there, the, there's not a lot of grass growing so it, 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 when the time comes there, yes there will be more action shots but anyway if you hasn't if you haven't as of yet please click the like button and the subscribe button guys i'm at 951 subscribers as of this morning please click the subscribe button it helps the channel grow it moves me further up in the algorithm and more people see my content. So please do that. 
Also, click the notification bell so when I post new content, you don't miss it. You actually get notified of when new videos are uploaded. And by all means, leave me comments. I love interacting with the people that follow my channel that I refer to as the Big South Nation. So please leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV reminding you to live big, live southern, and live outdoors until we meet again.